Um, to recap, as we can see on your screen, uh, one just oil protester jumped on the, st the table. They paid the front row seats, uh, released this orange powder during the, the first frame of Robert Milkins and Joe Perry. And a woman in a coordinated attack tried to do it on table two. But as you can see, the referee, Olivia Martil, who's actually a nurse who takes sort of unpaid leave to come to the snooker, reacted quickly and managed to stop her and security. If she had got on the table last night and released some sort of powder, then the snooker would have been finished for the evening. As it happened, they had to suspend play on table one and they've reclothed it overnight. And Milkins and Perry, who whose preparations for this World Championships are completely ruined now, will have to come back this evening to start their first session. Um, Rob, you'll remember when Monica Celeste was stabbed at Wimbledon, um, you know, I don't know, 30 years ago, something like that, but it changed the way that the crowd could get as close to the players when they were having their breaks. Do you think that this is going to spark a, a, a rethink when it comes to snooker, maybe just the crucible, in how they keep the, you know, the audience away from the players? Yeah, I mean, the debate has started and I would imagine everything will, will take place. I'm sure security will be beefed up uh, for this morning's session that starts at 10 o'clock. But the thing about the Crucible is you have a one table set up for the semi-final and the final. But for the earlier rounds, the first round, second round, the quarterfinal, you have this divide that goes down, you have two tables. So the players are very close to the front row. And I think unless you're going to put screens up or you're going to have some sort of netting, you're always going to have fans very close. I mean, it is unprecedented. It's a one-off. Um, security will have to make sure that they check everyone now. They perhaps beef up that security coming into the arena, this Crucible Theatre here in Sheffield. But yeah, I'm, yeah, I think something's going to have to done because you can't have a repeat of that, basically. Yeah. Um, and as I say, Just Oil, Just Up Oil took responsibility for it last night. And we saw that with the Grand National, didn't we? Albeit of a slightly different, different environmental calls that uh, sporting uh, events are being targeted. Uh, things are going to change, aren't they, Rob? I mean, Isabel mentioned Wimbledon there. We've got the FA Cup final to come. We've got, you know, various test matches over, over the summer. Uh, a lot of big events, a lot of big events. You know, when you, when you think of, of what uh, our season uh, holds in store, um, what, how will sport have to react to this, do you think? Well, I mean, you're absolutely right. There's a lot of big sporting events in the next couple of months and they could be and probably will be targeted. How, do, how does sport react? I mean, you've obviously got to have the security in place. You've got to stop people coming in and, and targeting them. But I think if people are determined to protest, if people are determined to do something to wreck a sporting event, it's going to be very hard to stop it. And then where do we stop the enjoyment? Do we go back yeah. to behind closed doors? Well, I don't think we do. So I think it's you've, sometimes you've got to accept these things are going to happen. And... It's just unfortunate for the snooker, World Snooker Tour, that last night and this morning we pick up the papers, watch your show, they are the focus of the, the headlines.